Okay, congratulations. So welcome to Sky Factory. From the get-go, you're going to realize that you're on top of the tree pretty much. Uh, these achievements get started. It already gives you. Congratulations, yeah. And then you're given the other options pretty much. Air fryer is fairly easy. Dirt, saplings, and sand and dirt, acorn. So these things are pretty much what you're going to do. So from the get-go, you're going to basically hit that and you immediately make an achievement of the dirt acorn. So congratulations. Glad that was helping you. Yeah. Okay, next you've got a choice of dirt, uh, crafted dirt block, dirt acorn, or the dirt sapling. Uh, dirt sapling's probably going to be pretty much what you're going to do, but just break down on this. There are builders one right here. We're going to start using this. That a little easier. And that's the dirt tree right there. Oh. There you go, just keep on digging through and you'll get the tree. Ta-da! Okay, so once you get your dirt tree, just continue on tearing down your start tree pretty much. Get every bit of it you can, except for you're going to realize at some point you can't get all of it yet. So at this point I dig myself downward. Yeah, there's dirt at the bottom. Yep, there's the dirt. Okay, and you realize there's only so much you can do at this point. Okay, so what I would do is I would go ahead and break these into what you're going to need. Give yourself at least one. And we're going to begin to expand at this point. Make sure you're shifting. and surround this block here. That'll make it where you can plant your shirt little sapling. And then you'll notice if you dance. There's another tree. Spread this out some. We want to take up the width. Okay, once I get a chance, a little further, I'm going to immediately create my crafting table. Find a nice little spot to put it. And craft my dirt. Then I'll get that done. Then you want to get a drying rack, pretty much. Drying rack, you just go in here, type, I've been drying. Click on that, it'll tell you what you're going to need, which is the planks. You should have enough for the planks. Right up there is that. Drying rack. Okay, which complete your air fryer. Okay, once you have your uh, drying rack set, go ahead and make yourself a couple more. Okay? Attach all four of these to your crafting table. And then take these, put them on there, because you're going to need eight. Once you have the uh, eight petrified acorns, mm -hmm. you can then take them with the uh, tree and the crafting table and make your petrified sapling. Mm -hmm. And that will get you that crushing stuff is going to be pretty straightforward. You just search for crushing, hit go right here. Uh, what you need basically, um, not that. You're gonna need the uh, plank and all that stuff. So go here, make yourself the one, get yourself the uh, six.
and then you're done. Once you have 32 acorns and 40 resin and petrified, you at that point can make the uh, stone that you'll need to make the uh, furnace. Ah. Right there. Actually, that just gets you the on the rocks, which is uh, up here. Okay, go ahead and keep doing your uh, crafting for the cobble, and then you can go ahead and make your furnace. Once you've made your furnace, smack it down where you got, put your dirt thing in, get you a nice piece of wood. Maybe two pieces of wood. <laughs> There's your dirt acorn. Okay, once you get three, three petrified one dirt, one uh, one dirt sapling, that's good to make a clay sapling. Pop and go. You have clay aching. So for the gravel, what you're going to do is take your crushing tub, pop that in there, pop all eight of the uh, acorn that you have for the gravel, or the petrified acorns, I should say. Jump on it. Pick them up. Make sure you got eight. Clear your crafting table. One petrified sapling with the eight gravel. You have your gravel sapling. There you go. Okay, so this next part you're going to need to first build you a cauldron. Which you're going to need seven wood for. Do you have your cauldron? I'll get you the bubble bubble achievement. Okay, next plant your, plant your clay tree. Get started on it. You just have to make yourself a block of clay. Break the clock, block of clay. Use it to make yourself a unfired clay bucket. And there you go. Okay, for your bone sapling, you're going to take your petri unpetrified clay bucket, or what the heck did you say? Take your clay bucket. Go ahead and cook it. Once you've got your clay bucket, take pretty much 10 of any sapling, pop it in your crushing tub, treat it like a trampoline. Yeah. That'll give you a thousand water. Once you get that, drop that in the cauldron. You're going to need three gravel. Three gravel you just drop in there. Make sure you got a petrified sapling on you. Go to here. There's your bone sapling. To done. That also conveniently will also give you the uh, water for waiting for you. And then if you've been doing the tree thing, you should have the sticky keys by now also. You're gonna make sure you get a, at least one multiple or uh, multiple saplings, enough bone parts to make a bone block, clay bucket, and dirt. Okay. So take your water, chunk it in there, keep your dirt throw it in there, that makes dirt. Clay sapling goes in, that makes you a jungle sapling. Plant it. Let it grow. Once it becomes a Tarzan tree. Should, there we go. Chop it down, you're looking for basically an extra sapling. There, once you get your extra sapling, come over here, use your bone, make the bone block, split it up and make bone mill. Need at least three. 
Once you have that, take your jungle sapling, the bone blocks. You're going to need a. Uh, I mean, actually, yeah, you're going to need wagon tree jungle sapling because you're going to need to hang this one. So once you hang that one, you're about to find a small bag. We'll keep going at this one until we get another jungle sapling. Hopefully, we get it. There we go. Once we get that, we're going to let that tick away. There vines. Okay. Once you get your vines, go into here. Three bone mill, vines, jungle sapling, cottonwood tree, and you're done. For your sand sapling, you're going to need eight gravel acorns, your crushing tub, Once you get that, make sure you got a petrified sapling, your crafting table, and you'll have your sand. There you go. So to get the string, you should have been getting a cottonwood leaves as you chop it down those trees. Take the cottonwood trees, stick them on those drying stations we used in earlier. You're going to need 12 of these things, which it takes a little bit to do. What you want to do is make sure you get 12 string. Once you have 12 string, 4 string become wool, and you're going to need 3 of those. Once you've got that, then you can go ahead and make your bed. Make sure you got a free wood, by the way, and you got your bed. Pop your de bed down where you feel convenient, sleep in it. And you've created, you've finished your achievement. Okay, this next part, just in case you don't have any gravel, get yourself some gravel, okay? You're going to need some at least one piece of flint for this, okay? Flint comes from gravel, so just take your gravel, throw it down. Get yourself a nice whatever. And just chop it up until you get a piece of flint. Now, if you don't get a piece of flint like I just did right there, you can take the exact same gravel. Throw it back down and keep at it until you get a piece of flint. Which typically comes pretty quickly, which of course I'm not getting it because it must be annoying to me. But you can literally do this with just a few pieces. Okay, as you can see, it may take you a couple of tries. <laughs> Once you get your piece of flint, go into here, second page. There's your tin amber, and you're done. Okay, for your coal sapling, you're going to need once again uh, fresh water. So get yourself a thousand water here. Pick it up. Um, make sure you empty your cauldron first, because uh, that would have been too smart. Okay, cauldron, place your water, take your sand sapling, drop it in, that'll make a birch sapling, okay? Take your birch sapling, pop it in your furnace, And there's your coal sapling. Ta-da! Next part I would hope is pretty self-explanatory, but you get yourself enough resin and acorns from chopping down the uh, coal trees. To go into here. And make yourself a piece of coal. And that gets you collateral damage done. Okay, so your next step would be to be begin making the iron amber and the uh, tin saplings. 
To do these, though, you're going to need melt, uh, some form of a smeltery. So you're going to basically need to jump ahead in your agent enchant, uh, enchant enhancements here and make this melter. Okay. So to do that, you're going to want to get clay and bone mill. Clay and bone mill you craft together. Those make the unified unfired porcelain. Take the unfired porcelain. Pop it in your furnace. And that becomes your porcelain brick. Porcelain brick, come over, go to your melter. You're going to need glass with that. The glass is going to be your sand, which you also throw in your furnace. That'll make your glass, okay? Put those together in your crafting table. And you have your melter, which will get that first part done. Okay, once you get the uh, melter built, you've already got every, all the uh, materials are the exact same materials, so you might as well go ahead and build the uh, tank while you're at it too. So again, just collect the materials, glass, and the uh, porcelain brick. You should make know how to make those because you already did it to make a melter. Go ahead and make your tank. And that'll get you that X accomplishment. And that gets those two right there done. Okay, once you get to this part, go ahead and create yourself a little structure similar to this right here, okay? Doesn't have to be exactly like this, but it's just how I like to do it, okay? Go ahead and create yourself. You're going to need a cobblestone cauldron. You need that because your wood one cannot handle it, okay? You're going to need lava. Go ahead and put the cauldron over a torch. That'll create the heat source you need so that whenever you put cobblestone in here, now you have lava. 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 Yeah, lava, lava. Okay? Take your clay bucket. You can do this once. You can't do it multiple times. It'll burn up because it can't really handle it. But take your clay bucket. Once you have a thousand little buckets or whatever you call it, pick that up. Okay? Now take your tank first. Put it down. Melter goes on top. Okay? You can pour your lava into there. You'll notice your thing, your bucket's gone. Okay, not a big deal. Once you have that, you're going to need a casting table, and you're going to need a faucet. Once you have both of those, you might as well create a basin also while you're at it, just because. Take your casting table; it goes there. Your faucet goes right on top. Okay, so this will be pretty much the structure you need and lava in the inside. You take your tin amber, open it up, put your tin amber in, you'll, you'll see it melt down. Okay, take your birch sapling, put it on your casting table. Once this is melted, you'll have tin ingots, you only need one. Pour directly on, let it harden. And now you have your tin sapling. Okay, so to get our iron amber, basically you're going to need the uh, four of the uh, coal, two gravel, two sand, one clay. Take all those over to a crafting table. Second tab right here shows you the breakdown. You can do it whichever way you care. It doesn't really matter. There's your iron amber. Okay, so this next part, what we're going to do is just create ourselves an unlimited water source to save some time for later. We're going to go ahead and crushing uh, tub, get yourself two buckets of water, okay? Take a bucket of water, throw it down. Get yourself some cobblestone. Swim your way down. Place whatever cobble you feel like you're going to need, okay? Swim your way back up. Pick up the bucket of water. Place more cobblestone down wherever you feel like you need it, okay? You should have, in the result, have something along these lines, okay? Bucket of water goes on one side, bucket of water goes on the other. You're good to go on that, okay? Should be fine. 
Once you're done with that, okay, put the buckets aside because you're going to need some glass bottles. Get yourself three pieces of glass, okay? Create yourself some glass bottles, okay? Glass bottle, fill it up with water, okay? You only need one. Take your glass bottle, or bottle of water, sorry. Take yourself two bone radius slings and one clay, okay? Go ahead and grab yourself another bucket of water out of our unlimited water here. Notice it replaces itself, okay? Throw that into your cauldron, okay? Once you place that into your cauldron, take your coal sapling here, throw it into the bucket of water. It becomes a dark oak sapling. Do your crafting table. Dark oak sapling, one bone, that's that. All becomes our lapis sapling. There you go. So you get an iron sapling. There's a little bit of work involved. Nothing major though. Okay. Get yourself some water. Take it. Put it in your cauldron. Okay. You're going to need a dirt sapling. Take a dirt sapling. Throw it in there. That'll get you an oak sapling. Plant your oak sapling. Let that grow up a couple times. It's going to give you some apples. Okay. Once you get the apples, basically, what you're going to do is take the apple, throw it into your crushing tub, okay, and jump on it. That's going to give you an apple seed. Take your apple seed, plant a sucker. Let it grow up, and eventually what you're going to do is you're going to get an apple sapling, okay? Your apple sapling, what you'll do is take that over to your cauldron, dunk it in the water. That's going to give you an Arcadia sapling, okay? Arcadia sapling goes into the casting tab. Ta uh, casting table. Take your iron amber you made earlier. Put it in there. Watch it slowly melt. And you get the iron. Take the iron, pour it in. And it gives you your iron sapling. For our iron ingot, the easiest way, in my opinion, to do this is you can already make iron amber. Okay, you could do that right here. Okay, so just make yourself nine iron amber. Put those in your casting or in your uh, melter here, and that'll give you a block of iron. Okay, once you've got a block of iron, take this casting basin we made earlier, pop it down. Make yourself another faucet. Pop that on there. Make sure you got a block worth. Just go ahead and pour yourself a block of iron. That'll give you a block of iron. Okay. Take your block of iron over to your crafting table. Pull it out. There's your block of iron. Or you, no, there's your ingot of iron. Sorry. That'll do it. Get your iron bucket. Take the iron we just made from uh, the block. Pop it into here, just like we did with the other bucket. And new bucket. This one can handle up. So to get this blue slime, it's actually quite a process, okay? To get the blue slime here, you're going to need a lot of things. So the easiest thing you can do, basically, would be to get the blue slime, you're going to need milk, okay? To get the milk... You're going to need a cow. There is cow seed you could build, okay? So to get the cow seed, you're going to need seed, wheat, leather, okay? So to get the seed, you're going to need grass. To get grass, what you need to do is first take a cauldron, fill it up with water, okay? And get yourself some mud. Take some dirt, throw it in there. Now you can take these leaves you've been collecting for no dang good reason, throw them in there, and that'll get you glass, grass blocks. Make yourself a bunch of these, okay? Create yourself an area like this right here. Doesn't have to be like this. You can make it whatever. You can actually do one block if you want, whatever. But you want to do more than one uh, little row, basically, because it makes it to where you're going to get multiple flowers and things like that, okay? Throw that down, though. Uh, use your bone mill, I would say. Uh, you can let it grow naturally if you really want, but whatever, you know. 
But start busting that up, okay? And at some point in here, you're going to get some seed. What did I get? I got carrot seed. Okay, well, carrot seed's not what I needed. Finally seeds. Jeez. So you get seeds. Once you get the seeds, finally, jeez. It will give you this one right here, which is shredded wheat. You plant that, you got wheat, finally. There you go with that. Jeez, that took a while. Ugh. So continuing on pursuing our sapling, our slime sapling here. First you needed the seed, which you now have, okay? Next you're going to need the wheat, which you can get from the seed. You're going to make, need to make yourself a hoe. Which I did not do. Okay, let's make ourselves a hole. That's fine. We can do that real quick here while y'all are. No need to do anything crazy with it. Just make myself a hoe. Yeah, we got a hoe. Get yourself a hoe. Get your grass. Plant your seed. There's your wheat. And you get more seed. So, so that's how you do that part. Okay, last part of this uh, for the sapling. Getting the cow seed is you need the leather. Okay? Leather, the easiest way, in my opinion, to get this is you make yourself a fishing pole. Okay? Go over here to the water source. Drop it in. It's going to take a minute. Okay, get something like that. Okay, you can get a fish. Okay, take your fish, cook it, that'll give you a cooked fish. Cooked fish goes on there, drying rack. Give it a minute and you'll get leather. Okay, once you get the leather, go to your crafting table. You can get cow seed. Take your cow seed over, drop it in your grass. Take your bone mill. And you got yourself a baby cow. I would suggest getting a pin and everything, put them in. And then once he grows up, mm. you got your milk. Mm. So I suggest making a pen for your cow. I like this kind of pen. You can do whatever you want to do, okay? But make yourself a pen. Mm. I suggest far away from your base if you can, okay? Get your cow. Let it become an adult. Feed him wheat if you want to hurry up, but you can. Mm. Okay, if you have the wheat that you want to spare. Anyway, bucket. Click them. There's your milk. Mm. Walk over with you with your milk, put it in your cauldron, take your lapis sapling, boom. There's your slime sapling. I guess that part done. The next part's is green slime dirt, which is a little bit of work attached to this, okay? Not terrible, but a little bit of work, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is cottonwood leaves, we're going to need string, okay? But once again, take cottonwood leaves, pop them on there, that's gonna become string, okay? Do enough of that where you get enough string, okay? Once you get the string, you're going to need a dill of wool, okay? Wool's fairly straightforward. You just make your wool from your string. Okay, once you have your string, then you're going to need vines. Vines, once again, is jungle saplings on the drying, okay? That's going to make yourself vines. 
Once you have eight vines, you can use the eight vines to trade in. Oh, where is it? Yeah, because you need a cactus. So you go to the market, trade eight vines in for the cactus, okay? Which means you're going to need the market. The market's fairly straightforward in terms of you just need logs with planks and then some redwood, okay? Fun deal is the redwood, which you've been getting poppies. If you don't remember, you can get poppies from grass. Just throw down some mown wood. Poppies usually pop up, providing you have enough grass. Okay? Go into here. Poppy. That becomes dye. To which case, then the dye you can combine with your wool here. That makes your red wool. Once you've got that, make sure you got some planks wood. There's your marketplace. And that gets you this the little piggy achievement, which is right. Where the heck is the little piggy? Right there. And that'll get that one done. Okay. Once you have your market, just find you a nice convenient place, to pop it down, and you get to discover. Mm. We got the rock, man. What's up, man? How you doing? You look very small. I thought you'd be bigger in real life. Huh. Anyway. Go into here. Type in cactus. Pop your eight vines there. That'll give you your cactus. Take your cactus over. You're going to need more milk. Go over to your cow. Get your milk. Drop it in, take your cactus, drop it in, there's your green slime, or green slime dirt, I should say. And that's got that one. Da -da. So for the lead amber, yeah. what you're going to need is you're going to need nine lapising uh, acorns, two iron, two sand, two petrified. Okay. You go in here and you look, this is how you form it, but you're going to need the lapis. The lapis is why you need the nine acorns as you drop them in here. That'll give you a lapis block. Take your lapis block. There's your lapis. Then you can take all that, go right into here, and that'll give you your amber, which completes that achievement right there. Redstone sapling is pretty straightforward. You get yourself a coal sapling, two petrified, or no, a petrified, two iron res uh, resin, and a poppy. Poppy goes in here, becomes dye, which is needed here. Crafting table, redstone sapling. Fairly straightforward. Achievement done. Our lead sapling. Get yourself a coal sapling. Mm -hmm. Use this lead amber you had earlier. Take the lead amber. Yeah. Put it in here. Okay. You're going to need a dark oak sapling. Okay. Dark oak sapling once again. Coal sapling with water. Pick your water. Cauldron, there's your dark oak sapling. Put it on the table. This should be melted by now. Mm. Pour. Mm. Led Zeppelin. Mm. I guess that one done. Okay, gold amber. Fairly straightforward. Kind of easy. Uh, gold amber. You're going to need the iron, four iron, two lead, two sand, and a dandelion. Mm. Dandelion, because you're going to come over to right here and you're going to realize you need that. Okay, so the dandelion becomes that. Doom, doom, doom. There you go. Gold amber. And I guess that accomplishment then. Gold tapling should be fairly easy in terms of straightforward. Uh, so 
Once again, dirt sapling. Dirt sapling into water. Next oak sapling. Oak sapling. Over in here. Take your gold. Let it melt down. As you can see, it takes one ingot. Let it pour. And there's your accomplishment. Done. So get this silver amber, we got basically two choices we can do, okay? So for the silver amber, we're going to need light gray dye basically, right? We've got two options on this, okay? One is this right here, to which case we can't do any of these, so this is when we can do. This is bone mill, and then basically crushed charcoal. Or coal, either which way, okay? So to get the uh, pulverized and all that, okay, we have to crush it, which means we gotta build basically a grindstone, okay? Which means we need six stone, which means we've gotta basically come over here, pick six of these, cook them, to give us our six stone. Once we've got our six stone, we take it over here to our crafting table. We would pop it in here along with a stick. It would give us a grindstone. Okay? Grindstone, you could then put the piece of charcoal in and make pulverized coal. It's not the way I'm preferring to do it, but I will show you that before we get done. What I'm going to prefer mm -hmm. to do, though, is I'm going to take this beetroot seed I've got right here. I'm going to just plant it. Mm -hmm. Plant it right away from the uh, thing there. I'm just going to take a bunch of bone mill and I need, uh, what is it, eight of these? Yeah, eight of these. Okay. There's our eight root root, okay? We go over here to the rock. I'm going to enter that I need an ironwood. Ironwood sapling. I'm gonna trade him my beetroot for it. Take my ironwood sapling. We'll plant that sucker. Once my ironwood sapling grows up, one of the things it will drop is an iron berry, which is one of the options we also had. Once I get the uh, iron berry, which is right there, then I can make my silver amber. We'll go over here and finish mm -hmm. making this out while we're waiting on that, just to show you. Mm -hmm. Like I say, your choice in how you do this, either which way. I'm just not a big fan of this machine. There's my charcoal. Okay, so our tree would eventually grow up. It'll give me an iron berry, like I say. Or I can just uh, take the bone milk, combine it, and get the... Uh, not that one. Mm -hmm. Right here. That'll give me three of the light grays. Light grays work just as well. And at that point, I can make the uh, silver amber. Okay? which case you'll be done. Now, the reason I like the tree is the tree gives me a, uh, a basically an endless way to get an iron, iron berry, which means I don't have to do anything in the future to get the grain. So that's why I prefer that, even though in this little circumstance it's faster to do the grindstone, but I would I prefer to do the tree. Personal preference, your call. But either which one, we'll get you the uh, silver amber. So that's how you do that. So your silver sapling, what you're going to do is you're going to start with a mm -hmm. lapis sapling, bucket of water into the cauldron, and I'll give you a mineral sapling. I suggest getting these started as soon as you could. Mineral sapling goes there. Silver amber goes there. 
Mm. I guess that part done. Pour it over. And there's your silver sapling. Diamond sapling, once again straightforward. One silver, two gold, two lapis, and a redstone sapling. Crafting table, right here. Mm. That gets that done. So you get your diamond. You just get diamond acorns from the diamond trees. Crafting table, diamond, and you're done. So up top here, you're going to see this little thing right here where you got to do a chest slab, a furnace slab, a workbench slab, and a crafting station slab. Okay? So we're going to do all those real quick here. Okay? Chest slab. Make a chest. Throw it in here into mm -hmm. your crafting table. You get your chest slab. Done. Done. So let's not do the chest slab. If you want to do a furnace slab, mm -hmm. same thing. Okay? So pop it up here. That'll be your furnace slab, okay? It said a workbench slab, but it's actually kind of wording it wrong because it's just basically a crafting table that you put in here, but you need to do a stick. And it creates a crafting slab, not a workbench slab. And then for the uh, last one, it is your uh, crafting station slab. You take a crafting table, put it in here, it becomes a crafting station, then a crafting station with a stick, Crafting Station Slab. So that's how to do all four of those. Any of those will get you the accomplishment though. And as you can see, we're done. So the cobblestone mud. All you need basically is a bucket of water, a piece of dirt, a piece of cobblestone. Bucket, dirt, cobble. There you go. Basically, uh, take that, pour it on a pig, turns into a resource pig. That's how that works. But, I guess that done. Wooden crook should be straightforward. You can search for it in your, your thing. Wooden crook right here. Just need four of these. Put those into a crafting bench. And that'll get that done. Okay, so the stone crook, also straightforward. Cobblestone, boop boop, makes these things. Doop, need four of them. Stone crook, done. Okay, so the next one, fill a, fill a chest with cobblestone. I bet that literally means like every slot, 64, you know, pieces of cobblestone. So what you could do is you could do the you know old fashioned pop the uh, chest down, start putting cobblestone in it from your tree you know that you made, but it's gonna could, can take a while. Okay, so there is this thing called a cobblestone generator. Now you're gonna need a bucket of water, bucket of lava. Okay, so your bucket of water, we uh, bucket of water. Okay, or bucket of lava. Okay, you're gonna come up in here. You're gonna smack down four of these cobblestones. Get yourself a bucket of lava. Okay. You're going to need one piece of glass, which is just sand, you know, smelted, okay? You come in here, and you're going to make a cobblestone generator, okay? So then once you get your cobblestone generator, mm. smack that sucker down, okay? Put your chest on top, and you'll notice it should start filling with cobble. But there is tiers of cobblestone generators, okay? So this one takes some iron. This one takes some diamond. This one takes some blaze. This one takes some emerald. We, at this point in the game, don't have a blaze or emerald, so we're going to do the iron and the diamond one, because we do have those. So we're going to make our iron, and we're going to make our diamond. That's what we're going to smack down. It doesn't even take power. Just smack it down. Boom. You'll notice it's filling much faster. Now you just leave that alone and go do other things. And so what should happen at some point later, you'll show up, and you'll go to, you know, go get a piece of cobblestone and ta-da! It'll be full and you'll notice, hey, you'll get the cobble, cobble achievement. 
you'll be done. So that's how I would recommend doing that one. Okay, for this one, you can just basically, there's two couple ways you can do this, but these, just, this is just one of the easy ways, okay? Just take yourself a bucket of water, come over here, drop it in, and you're done. Achievement done, on to next. All right, so your bacon sapling, what you're gonna do is you're gonna need bacon. Easiest way to do this, uh, you notice you, you need bacon, sugar, apple sapling. Apple sapling, just get from the apple trees behind you, okay? Pig seed, dirt, seeds, carrot. Seeds, just use bone mill on grass. Should be fine, okay? Uh, which we discussed how to get the grass earlier. The uh, carrots, same difference. Carrot seeds, put bone meal down, all that. So that covers those two parts right there, okay? Once you have that, go to your craft table and just make yourself a pig seed. Got it? Cool. Pop pig seed down. There's your little piggy, okay? Take that little piggy, put them in wherever your pin is, and you'll notice it takes them 20 minutes to grow up, okay? Simple as that. Okay, another thing you can do if you want to waste a bunch of bone mill, okay? If you've got it to waste, is you can literally feed him and you'll notice it goes way faster. You can do all of it like, I think, in the last 10 seconds. Yep. Once he's down the last 10 seconds, then you, he'll be an adult, which we'll just hang around and show you he's an adult. And he's an adult pig, yay! Okay, once you have a, your pig being an adult, go ahead and kill him. Pick up your pork chop. And walk outside, okay? Your pork chop you're going to need to cook. So just go ahead and cook it. Once it's cooking, you're going to need a chopping block, okay? Which is just a piece of flint, oak. Plant again, gravel, pick it up, all that kind of thing, okay? So go ahead and craft your chopping block. While you're here and you're doing your chopping block, you also are going to need an axe, okay? Well, if you made a paxel. I have not, okay? So I'm going to get my axe, and while I'm here, I'm also just going to go ahead and create my iron pickaxe. So that I can get rid of the wood one. Okay, so now once we have that, take our pork chop. Take your chopping block, chop block, put your pork chop on there. Just click on it a few times and it'll pop up and you'll have bacon. So there's the bacon part of the crafting that you need, okay? Next part of what you're going to need for this though is the sugar, okay? Sugar, you're going to need apple leaves. Take your apple leaf, take your crushing tab, throw them in, jump on them. And there's your sugar cane. Okay, sugar cane seeds. What you're going to want to do then is get some sand. Get you an area. Put it right next to water. So you don't even got to do Just put them in there. Okay. And then you cannot. Oh, you can. Okay, cool. Uh, get that to grow more than, you can't get it to grow more than once, but you can get the first one to grow. Either which way, just get your sugar cane, okay? Sugar cane, once you've got it, you take it to your crafting ta table, put it in, there's your sugar. Then you take your apple sapling, combine it with the bacon that you just got and the sugar, and you get your bacon sapling. Donut sapling. Mm. You're going to need three donuts, sugar, apple sapling. Apple sapling, easy, right? Sugar, we discussed a minute ago, you just got a sugar tree, sugar cane, you can get it from over there, all that kind of thing. Take a sugar cane, pop it in, there's your sugar. So your donuts are the bigger deal on this one. You need cooked dough, to which case that comes from regular dough that you're going to cook. Regular dough comes from wheat, which we can get again just by growing, and a bucket of water. So not a big deal. Bucket of water. So 
Let's get our dough. Gotta cook it. Once you have your cooked dough, you can then craft your actual donuts. Once you have your donuts, you can then craft your donut tree. And that, the game will tell you you will win because you have now completed everything on the first one. Congratulations! Ta-da!